Good frosty morning everybody. There was a real heavy frost on last night. Uh, I'm up bright and early. I have a mission today. Um, I'm actually using the Tamron 150 to 600 and you'll notice the white teleconverter on there, the 1.4 teleconverter. Uh, we're going to head down to the river and I'm not done trying to get my ideal shot of a nice wood duck in the morning sun. And uh, this will just give us a little bit more reach. So we've got 100 more millimeters on this lens than our brand new 150 to 500 that we just bought. And then we can throw on the actual teleconverter, which we did. And then if I really need to, we can still use the digital converter built into the camera. I just made a rookie mistake. I was so focused on looking for wood ducks in the river, I didn't even look at the far bank. And there was six or seven deer had come down to the edge. And finally, when I caught a flicker of one of their tails, I looked up and then they were going through the brush. I didn't get a shot. They were just in and out of the brush. Had I been slow and taken my time and paid attention to everything, I might have got a shot of them coming down to drink at the river or whatever they were gonna do. I'm going to move down here a couple hundred yards and maybe uh, maybe I'll even get ahead of them. Maybe I, I might still get a shot yet. Who knows? The wood ducks are across the river and I'm still finding them too far away. So I've taken the camera off the tripod and I'm going to belly crawl an extra 20 feet up to the river's edge and see if that helps, if I can sneak up on them. I don't know, they might just fly away. Huh. 10 minutes of work. You wouldn't believe how close to the water's edge I got. And then they flew away. Some days, Gary feels he's getting too old for this. But I love it. So, as long as I can crawl on my hands and knees with a camera in my hands, I'm gonna keep doing it. Well, I'm sitting out on the old rickety dock. I think I'll just wait here and see if some more fly in. I'm not really camouflaged here, but I do have this nice brush behind me. So if they come from that way, they might not see me. I might get some shots and, until they get right out here. It's worth a try. All right, I've moved back off the rickety dock. I didn't like sitting there with my camera. I just felt like I was gonna lose it in the water. Um, I'll show you guys my tripod. This is the best way. You wanna get low to the river, and I'm using the Slick Pro 700 legs uh, with a gimbal head, and I've put it down uh, right to the ground. And there it is set up. Ready to go. One finger, we can move it. Makes the camera very light when you use a gimbal head. Very easy to spin, get the action of flying birds and things. I highly recommend this setup. It's always a gamble, you know? Do you stay hidden and get the shots that you can from further back? Yes, okay, that's, that's the easy answer, yes. Get what shots you can and you're happy with. Once you've got 50 shots, then try to move closer. I always do that, get what shots I can and as I move forward five, 10 feet, take more shots, move forward five more, 10 feet, take more shots. Um, in the case of things like these wood ducks, which are very spooky, you can't do that. You gotta get off to the side, use the brush as cover so you can't see them, they can't see you, move closer, and then all of a sudden you're gonna hopefully break into the open just you know in time to get them out and close for a couple nice shots. Didn't work out this morning, but uh, that's how I like to do it, you know. 
in stages if you can. Somewhere behind me there's a woodpecker just drumming away there. Uh, it's tempting to get up and leave your spot and go take a picture of that guy because there's no ducks out here on the river but as soon as I do that I know what's going to happen. The ducks are going to fly in. Then you can't move back to your camera, uh, your tripod and get set up. It's too late at that point. So I've also learned over the years once you're in your spot and you set up don't leave. Just have patience. Yeah, one lonely cormorant. It has been pretty quiet here for the last 40 minutes. I think I'm going to get up and uh, maybe take a walk through the woods, look for a couple woodpeckers on the way home. I got so much stuff to do for this trip today, guys, that I think I'm... You know, I might get out again this afternoon for an hour. <laughs> I just, I don't want to let it go. <laughs> I will say that after using this lens again on the tripod this morning, um, with the teleconverter on there, I, it's really no comparison, right? This thing works amazing considering it has that teleconverter on there. If I take that teleconverter off there, it focuses very good, but it's nowhere near as good as the new 150-500 for E-mount. Um, I, I find myself continually going into manual focus, like when that cormorant went by, I manually focus to get that shot. Um, I mean, I can't blame the camera. It's got a teleconverter on there, and that slows everything down. But it's still very good. Uh, with that on there, to get that extra reach, it, it does an acceptable, better than acceptable job. Uh, if I put this same lens combination on my old Alpha cameras, which is what this lens was made for, it won't even autofocus with that teleconverter on there. So, take it for what it is, guys. Uh, it's kind of a hidden secret that this 150 to 600 with a Kenko 1.4 teleconverter on E mount autofocuses like pretty snappy. Most people don't know that because they want the latest and greatest, right? But if you already own the gear like I did and you moved to E mount, those of us that had this combination, we were uh, pleasantly surprised. I'm starting to sound like my grandfather when I get up. Oh, <laughs> sitting there for an hour. Oh boy. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Hadn't planned on actually driving anywhere to take photos, but I had to drop Gage off at the doggy care center. And along the way, I, I did bring the camera and I saw deer, horses, uh, some grouse over here and this stuff. I uh, didn't get a picture of the grouse, but I got a picture of the other ones, and now I'm kind of uh, just sneaking along and I'm looking for things to photograph. You know, when gas is $2 a liter, it kind of makes it hard to, to enjoy a drive, but I'm just feeling it. Today's a good day.